above your hitch, and then connect it to yourself with the leash, what you effectively make is a contained double rope system. You see, this is, this is basically a big loop right here. So it's a contained double rope system, but it's on a single line. So this bend right here is taking actually more than half of my weight off that hitch. And because this is a contained system, it now allows my hitch to run very, very smoothly where before it didn't. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, so now, good. Safe right. traveling around. Yeah, just so grab on the line. Yeah. So, we can. so now, yeah. if I come out yeah. here, yeah. I go over a limb. It has no okay. effect yep. on my two. Nice right. to meet you. You grab on the line too, sir. Just grab on. Now I want to go this way. It has absolutely no effect on my friction whatsoever. I can wrap myself around this tree a hundred times, and at no point would my friction ever vary. Mm -hmm. So that's the benefit of it. Your okay. experience, you just climb the tree so you don't do that. <laughs> Remember when you started, you'd wrap it up and go, oh, crap. Yeah, but now that we Couldn't can move. do it, we have to do it. Oh, that's my system. That's now, there, there are some, some downsides to this, and really it's just a matter of changing your climbing style. On doubled rope, you often have your, your weight on your rope, and you can use your rope to move yourself back in. On single rope here, in order for me to come back in, I have to get my weight off. So I have to be standing up with my weight off the system. It's a little unnerving at first. It takes a little getting used to. But once my weight is off, I can then come in. And it, it's going to feel a little bit weird at first, and sometimes it's a little more difficult. However, if I, if I pull in one foot, I'm actually going in one foot. On a double rope, if I pull in one foot, yeah. I'm only going a half a foot in. So it, it's actually more efficient, even though it's a little more difficult to do. But there's ways you can fix that. If I know that I'm going to go out on a real long limb walk, where it's going to be difficult for me to come back in, what I'll do prior to going out is I'll hook up my ascender. Oh, okay, like a, like a yo-yo system. A rat system. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. I run the tail through, I bring that with me. So I'll go out, no problems. When I want to come back in, I'll just grab onto this side, and you'll see how neatly this tails on the way back in. So I can move all the way back in. Now the key is, prior to putting my weight on this, I want to reset the contained system. Because if I don't, if I don't reset that, that distance, I'm on single rope right here, on a hitch. You need to have this guy properly reset in order to get the benefit. Okay. So that works for coming in a lid, doing the rad system. Now to ascend up the tree, there's multiple ways you can do it. Uh, one, you can just sit here with your foot ascender, and you can just kind of slide the hitch up as you're going, piece of cake, and then just reset it when you want to come down. If you're going to go a much longer distance, say I'm going to go 50 feet up the tree, what I'll do is I'll set my ascender, I'll get my foot loop, and I'll take the carabiner, and I put this thimble on the back side here, I'll hook onto that, what that allows is as I slide that ascender up, it's pulling the rope wrench up with me. And at any point, I can just reset that rope wrench, take this off, and you're good to go. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Good. It takes some getting used to. It's, it's definitely a different style of climbing. You end up climbing the tree much more so than climbing your gear, uh, which, which takes a little getting used to. And you'll learn to route your tree a little bit differently to take advantage of all the positive aspects and to try to limit the negative aspects. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. And so you just got one of these thimbles and tied your own. And I would imagine climbing up that the reason you did this is, is you can just adjust it for your own height. And I could do a splice, uh, um, something nice and neat, but actually the, the daisy chain works well for that. So you could go up on this, you know you're going to be moving around the tree, so you're actually going to take this off because yep. you're going to you're going to use that for rads. And you don't need to use the center for the rads. I mean, you could very easily put a friction hitch up here 
with a okay use that. With, a, with a carabiner here or a, a rope man. Yeah, you can use anything that's going to bring your tail through so you can pull back. Here. Yep, interesting. Cool. Okay, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. It's it's completely revolutionary. It, it's, give it give it some time. It will drastically revolutionize people.